Hi everyone, it's Andrea here. Welcome to my channel. I'm doing a feature on a book that I really love. It's like a book spotlight, so it's not Marilyn, but it is Hollywood related. It's one of my favourite books on one of my favourite stars. Now, as you all know, I'll show you how many Marilyn books I've got, but I do like other Hollywood stars as well. Uh, Carol Lombard and uh, Thelma Todd I've got books on. I've got books on Doris Day and Betty Grable, Jane Mansfield, Diana Dawes. Uh, I love all Hollywood basically. I'm a, I'm a Hollywood kind of girl. But this book is on my other favourite blonde bombshell and she was Marilyn's favourite bomb 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 blonde bombshell and that is the lovely Jean Harlow. Now this book is absolutely stunning. I will leave a link to uh, where you can buy it below and it is Harlow in Hollywood, The Blonde Bombshell in the Glamour Capital 1928 to 1937 by Dal Rooney and Mark A. Vieira. This is a beautiful and massive coffee table book coffee table book as you can see with this gorgeous glamour shot on the front and on the back we have lots of little pictures of Jean Harlow or as she was known to her friends and family as the baby um, her mother always called her the baby and this book is absolutely filled to the brim with stunning classic Harlow portraits from her films and her private life. Now, uh, Daryl Rooney is a major Hollywood fan and collector. And before this book came out, he had a, a Facebook group set up called Fans for a Centenary Book for Jean Harlow or something along those lines. And it is still the premier Facebook group on Jean Harlow. Excuse me, I've just got my finger caught in the book. So this book basically tells her story, uh, it tells about her early life, um, even though that wasn't in Hollywood, but it does give us a little bit of an introduction to Jean, who was born Harleen Harlow Carpenter in 1911. And she was a beautiful little girl her mother wanted to be a movie star. Um, Harlan didn't, but circumstances made her one. And she married young and moved to Hollywood with her husband to get away from her mother. Uh, but her mother followed her. Her and her husband divorced and she signed on with Central Casting. Basically, she went to 20th Century Fox with a girlfriend, Ros Rosalie Roy, and was apparently spotted and said to her, look, you, you, here's a, go, go and introduce yourself at casting, we'll get work for you. And she wasn't interested. And her friends actually said, oh no, Harleen, you're too shy to do that. So she, they bet her something like $50 that she wouldn't do. It was a lot of money back in the, uh, the 20s to, to go. So she went and the first time they phoned for her, she registered with her mother's name, which was Jean Harlow. They asked, is Miss Jean Harlow there? And she thought they had the wrong number because her mother didn't live there. Uh, eventually, after several phone calls, she realised they were looking for her. So the book is filled with beautiful black and white shots. Obviously, Harlow was a star before Technicolor. Um, and it tells you all about her, her life and her death. There is a map of Hollywood in the front end papers, which is absolutely stunning. It is a gorgeously produced book. It's not cheap. It's around £30, I believe. The back tells you a bit about Mark and Daryl, um, as always. And it tells you about her three marriages and her very early death. Jean Harlow died at the age of 26 of kidney failure, basically. Back in 1936, there was no dialysis. There were no kidney transplant. There were no antibiotics. So uh, you got kidney failure then, it was a matter of time. Um, they probably could have, if she'd have known a lot earlier, with um, if she cut out certain things, she may have lived a bit longer, but she wouldn't have, she wouldn't have had a long life, which I think is very sad because she was a beautiful star and she was a fantastic comedian. George Cukor said, Jean Harlow plays comedy as natural as a hen lays an egg and compared her favourably to Marilyn Monroe. So it takes it right up, there's beautiful photographs, quotes from friends and family. 
um, some very sad photos of her at the end of her life where you can see that she's not ill, where the photos necessarily haven't been retouched. Uh, photos of the funeral procession, the, the chapel where her service was buried, uh, held, and the crypt that she is interred in. As you can see it says the Jean, it says Jean Harlow at the top. And you can't see it on this, but there are three beers or three interred plots and she is in the middle. And her mother also rests in one of those, but um, her crypt literally only says on it, our baby. And it's in a part of Forest Lawn, which is not accessible. Uh, only family and friends that are already on the list can visit there. It's very hard to get in. There are ways people have done it. This is a beautiful book. If you're interested in Jean Harlow as a film star, this is a must. It is beautiful. If you want a, a full biography, then David Sten's Bombshell is amazing. But just for the sheer size and volume of this book, it is a must have for a, anybody who likes Jean Harlow or anybody who's interested in, in old Hollywood. This was classic. This is the golden age of Hollywood in this book. She was one of the biggest stars of the 30s until she died in 1937, tragically young at the age of only 26. Um, she was Marilyn's favourite actress. She's been featured in, t again, in TV commercials and songs, including Madonna's Vogue. Michelle Morgan writes about her in A Girl Named Pearl. In fact, part of the plot concerns a visit to Jean Harlow by Pearl, the main character. I can't express how much I love Jean Harlow as an actress and as a person. She's one of those people who reaches out to you across the time and, and space of, of the movie theatre. Um, like Marilyn, like Valentino, like Elvis Presley, there was something about those people, James Dean, that just spoke to people they had and it was put uh, about Marilyn, flesh impact. They had flesh that photographs like flesh. It didn't, it looked real. You could reel out and feel like you could reach out and touch her. The great sadness for Harlow is we never saw her in colour. Um, there are some great colourists out there. Victor Morasco, I think his name is, something along those lines. He is a fantastic artist who colorizes photographs and his are amazing. One of the reasons I wanted to feature this fantastic five out of five stars book, oh yes it's a five out of five stars, is because very recently um, there was an auction, in fact it was only the other day, um, in it a painting was sold. Uh, the painting was called Farewell to Earth and was com commissioned by Jean Harlow's mother after Jean Harlow's death and it hung in her house for many years. After Jean Bellow, as Jean Harlow's mother became, uh, death, it was, it disappeared. And at one point it was reported stored in a warehouse and lost in a warehouse fire. This year, amazingly and miraculously, this amazing painting, and I will try and put a picture up here so you can see it, turned up for auction. And the Jean Harlow and Hollywood community is very, very excited and very, very happy because Daryl Rooney managed to, su to submit the winning bid for Farewell to Earth and it will, from next year, be displayed at the Hollywood Museum, which is in the, the old Max Factor building in Hollywood for everybody to see, which is absolutely amazing. We were all over the moon when we heard Daryl got that winning bid. That All I can say is I... Oh, it's, it, it's almost like finding um, a, a, a pharaoh's tomb. That, that's how important that painting was. So congratulations, Daryl. I can't wait for it to be installed in its new home. I hope I can come over and see it in person one day. It truly is a stunning picture. So thank you for Harlow in Hollywood. It is one of my absolute favorite books on, on Harlow and Hollywood in general. And thank you for saving A Farewell to Earth so it won't be in a private collection. We can all enjoy it, as I think Mother Jean would have liked. And, and Jean, she, she, she loved her public. She loved her fans. So I think I've gushed enough. So Harlow and Hollywood, five out of five stars. I will leave a link below, below where you can go and buy this fantastic book. So please go and buy it. It is a must have. 
So that's this this uh, book spotlight. Um, I'm sure I will be doing more of them. I've got lots of books on Hollywood and photography and other subjects I would love to share with you, including some fabulous ancient Egyptian books on ancient Egypt as well. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you've got this book, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it all. Let's talk about Harlow. I love Harlow. Um, and obviously don't forget to give me the big thumbs up share this with your friends because they might be harlow fans we can talk about harlow movies as well i'm always up for talking about harlow movies and of course if you're not already a subscriber but you've enjoyed this particular video of on harlow and hollywood please subscribe because i will be featuring more of my hollywood collection um in the future i have obviously a massive Marilyn Monroe collection. I have a huge collection of Jean Harlow still, some of which actually appear in this book. Not because he got them from me though, because he owns them himself, but I do have some of them. Um, and I'll be happy to, to, to share all my collections with you at some point in the future. So that's it for me for now. Happy reading and I will see you soon, booktube. Bye.